Hey guys, what's the tea? Today's video is going to be my favorites for the year 2023, and they are not in any particular order. So if you want to see my favorites for 2023, then just keep watching. First up, we can start with shoes. So these are my most worn shoe of 2023. I'm pretty sure I got them in March, and I got them when I was in New York with my friends. So these are the Birkenstock clogs and I'll have all of the specs for all the items that I mentioned linked down below but these are the shoes and they literally look so beat up these are my everyday run errand shoes like I feel like they go with every outfit and I, I'd say they held up pretty well considering they're like pretty light color and they're suede and it does rain quite a bit in SF but I love these shoes they look great with every outfit and these are definitely a must have for me and I will be taking these into 2024 with me. Next up I'll share my favorite candle and here it is. This is the box that it comes in and this candle is from Maison Louis Marie and the back of the box. I actually recently picked this candle up. I got it from Dasha in Manhattan Beach when I was visiting my dad but this is what the candle looks like and as you can see like I got this candle not too long ago and i'm already almost out but here's the front here it has the text you can see it a bit more when you have more of the candle left but here it is and it smells so good honestly i'm not gonna lie this candle kind of smelled like my ex-boyfriend from high school but it's kind of like a better version of mahogany teak wood it's not as strong and i think it's really really good for fall so i love this candle and i will definitely be repurchasing it when it runs out third favorite for 2023 is my favorite perfume and this is the glossier you perfume i discovered this perfume when i was in london last year right at the end of last year and I've been wearing it all year, and this is definitely my favorite perfume of all time. I'd say a close second favorite perfume would be YSL Libre, but this is a bit more casual, and I feel like I can wear this even when I'm not doing anything. So I really, really love this perfume. I got this one recently from Sephora. I've repurchased this so many times, and I definitely recommend. And my fourth and fifth favorites of 2023 are actually two products from Charlotte Tilbury. The first one being the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and this is the medium size. I love this moisturizer. As you can see, this one is empty because I need to get a refill. I repurchased this moisturizer so many times throughout 2023, and it's honestly the best moisturizer I've ever used, so I definitely recommend the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And along with that, I also have my favorite makeup item of this year which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, and this is in the shade 3 Tan. And I love this powder. I don't even want to show it. It's kind of embarrassing, but I will show it. Um, I totally hit pan. This goes to show how much I use this. I need to honestly get a new one. I use this powder all the time. I never do my makeup without it, so I definitely recommend. And this is my favorite makeup item of 2023. Next, I'll share my favorite body care item, and this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I love this moisturizer. It's like really thick, like a body, it's like a mix between a body butter and a moisturizer, but what really gets you is the scent. It smells like vacation, and it's this is what it looks like on the inside. You kind of get a lot. Um, it's a little bit pricey. It's like almost $50, but you, you get a good amount in here. And it takes me a while to finish it, but I just love this moisturizer. It smells so good. I, I purchased it for the smell alone. Um, but I just think that this is one of my favorite body moisturizers of all time. My next favorite item is my favorite setting spray. And this is the One Size by Patrick Star On Till Dawn setting spray. This is hands down the best setting spray of all time. There was actually a shortage this year. I'm pretty sure Beyonce... Or someone mentioned that they love the setting spray and then it sold out immediately and it was sold out for so long um but i had managed to find it online and i purchased like two or three of them but i literally cannot live without the setting spray this is the only setting spray that really works for me and it is an amazing product and i definitely recommend it and this next item is a new favorite and it was a christmas gift and this is the fenty beauty Pro Kisser Lip Balm, and this is in 
the shade Pinch Me. I also have another shade that's a little bit darker than this, but I love this product. It is basically like the same color as your lips, but better, and, and it's not sticky at all. It's really smooth, and it feels just like a lip balm, but looks like a lip gloss, so it's really comfortable to wear, and I love this product. And now we're down to the last two favorites. I have here my favorite sunglasses of the year. I need to clean them. Um, but these are the Desi Puff sunglasses, and this is the silver and black color. I love these sunglasses. I wear them all the time. I just think that they look so good on, and I like this detail here with the little cuff that matches my earrings. I just got these from Measury, but I love these sunglasses. They are so comfortable. They fit my head perfectly, which is really hard to find, actually. A lot of the sunglasses that I like are a little bit too big. Um, if you watched some of my earlier videos this year, you see that I splurged and got these Balenciaga sunglasses, and they were way too big for me, so I had to send them back. Um, so I will never stray again. I love these sunglasses, and they fit perfectly. So if you have a smaller head, I guess, I definitely recommend these. But these are the best sunglasses, and I've recommended them to all my friends. And my last favorite for 2023 is my Prada Hobo bag. I wear this bag for every occasion, whether it be brunch or dinner or going to a friend's house. Like I just think that this is the perfect bag because it's nylon. I don't really have to worry about it getting messed up because it's very durable, but I just love this bag. It's the perfect size. It actually surprisingly fits a lot in it and it goes with all of my outfits. So that includes my favorites for 2023. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.